our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All righty then. We back. Goodfella Sports TV. Let's talk about some Canelo Alvarez, according to ESPN. I only got an article from Boxing News 24. is where I got it from. Canelo Alvarez has ruled out fighting Ryota Morata May 2nd. So, uh, from what I heard behind the scenes, they was, impl- they was supposed to fight Morata later in the year, possibly like December or something like that. I could be wrong. I could be be a little bit wrong right there. But they were supposed to fight Morata later in the year, which would affect Triple G. And Triple G would have to wait another year without getting the Canelo fight. We have to get another year of Triple G fighting Dervachenko, uh, the Dervachenko, not Dervachenko of the world, or fighting the Camille Zamatas of the world. They pushed Triple G fight back from March 28th to another date. Um, but let's talk a little bit about who are the Canelo possible opponents now that Murata is out for the May 2nd uh, fight. And, and, and uh, I thought that they basically was going to, you know, move him off that date. But since it would go down in Japan, but Canelo wants to hold down that May 2nd bait because they know Floyd Mayweather is coming back. So he want to stand and hold his ground and, and, and compete with Floyd Mayweather for that date. But Floyd still ain't announced nothing. But, you know, Premier Boxing Champions, the last minute organization. But... Let's talk, let's look, talk a little bit more about who Canelo possibly can fight now on May 2nd. Uh, we back, Good Fellow Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And uh, we in Dearborn right now. But uh, I'm on my way back to the D. But, uh, but yeah, it's down to Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders, which the Boxing News 24, Boxing News 24 article pointed out that it ain't gonna do nothing for his mass appeal at all. Nobody care about nobody in America know who Billy Joe Saunders is, let alone they don't even know who the hell Callum Smith is, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? That's another fight that's not gonna sell out. <laughs> the zone just throwing they just throwing money in a pitless abyss with uh Canelo Alvarez. Don't know unless he fight Murata in Japan or he fight Callum Smith and Billy Joe in the UK, which they not even big pools in the UK. These pointless opponents, you know, so Basically, if if he had a preference, and my what his preference should be is a dude with the belts. He should fight Callum Smith, which he gonna put more stipulations on Callum Smith than he did probably with Kovalev. You know, Kovalev had to weigh in. Kovalev had to weigh in like two, three times. He had to weigh in uh, the regular weigh in. The morning of, and then they said they had another rehydration clause where he couldn't weigh a certain amount coming to the ring. So Callum Smith is a big guy. He's he's naturally taller than Kovalev. He's 6'3. You know, and obviously when he had that bad fight versus John Ryder, that's when Canelo wanted to fight him. Other than that, he had he wasn't looking at Callum Smith. He was only looking at Billy Joe Siner. So it brought down to Billy Joe, Callum Smith, but Neither one of them gonna have a chance in hell versus Canelo. The only difference with, with Billy Joe Saunders is that Billy Joe Saunders, he ain't gonna rehydrate that high product. So a rehydration clause ain't gonna help hurt Billy Joe Saunders. But Billy Joe, he ain't got enough power to 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 knock out Canelo. That's the only way you beat Canelo. Keep in mind, Floyd Mayweather outboxed Canelo for twelve rounds, and he lost. He, I mean, he got a draw on the scorecard. And basically, the difference of Billy Joe Saunders beating up on. David Lemieux and Eric Gomez and Golden Boy saying that Canelo didn't wasn't in favor of fighting him, and then Canelo saying a few weeks ago that now they're interested in fighting Billy Joe because he's a real fighter now. He a real fighter because he got popped for a drug test and he started looking pedestrian. How you a real fighter because you start you start looking terrible, your stamina start looking terrible, you start looking fat and flimsy again after getting popped for oxyfrin. Like I said before, that's why I don't respect Canelo Alvarez, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't res- I don't respect him, dude. Billy Joe Saunders is a real fighter now because he no longer uh, dance and move around the ring because he ain't got the stamina no more. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that Them other nationalities killed me. They mad because certain fighters can get on the toes and box and move. Predominantly the slick fighter, the black fighters, they can get on their toes and box and move and they call it running. What the hell Canelo did versus Golovkin in the first fight? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing versus Austin Trout bagging up and, and moving the whole fight? Like like I said before, man, Canelo is one of those dumb, dumb, one of, he just bad for boxing. He ain't nothing but a but a but a carbon copy of Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? 
At least if he was more like Oscar, Oscar was fighting everybody. For the most part, he might rob you, but Oscar was fighting everybody. But uh, like I said, this ain't no fight that nobody interested in. They talking about the zone may raise their prices to fifty dollars a month. Man, they must be smoking that ish. Uh, Pookie was smoking on New Jack City. I'm not. I didn't pay for it when it was what nine ninety nine a month. I ain't paying for it now. You know what I'm saying? It got they got solid fights, but ain't none of this boxing shit worth paying for. It ain't worth paying for when I'm not getting the fights that I want to see. And, and that's not necessarily the zone fault. The zone try to make the fights you want to see. They tried to make Joshua Wilder. Couldn't happen. You know? They, they tried to make some fights. Charlo Canelo. They really did try to make that fight. You know? They tried to make the fights we want to see. But obviously, some other promotional companies or television network series and managers and advisors, they don't want to They don't want to make certain fights. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but if I had a preference to see, neither. I really don't care. But obviously, you want it. If you want to fight the lineal. They say Calvin Smith, the lineal champion, which he deserved, deserved a lineal for only person he beat in, a, uh, in that World Series boxing tournament was uh only person he beat was George Groves, and he was coming off an arm injury with no tuna. He struggled with the first dude, Yerman Berman, in the, se in the second round. He got ill. He fell out the tournament. He fought a late replacement, and then he, brought, he fought a broke down George Groves. So I thought Callum Smith had promise, but they said his last fight he didn't. He he arguably lost to John Ryder, and they basically saying that he looked drained. He need to move up and wait. So if you drain, need to move up and wait. What you think Canelo gonna do? Canelo gonna put a stipulation on there. You gonna have to rehydrate, do a rehydrate. You gonna do a cold lev then. But the difference is, ain't nobody checking for Callum Smith or, or Billy Joe Saunders in America. Who want to spend their hard-earned money to watch Canelo fight and, 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 and fight a drained man and still probably don't knock him out? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? But he tried to fight uh, Charlo last year, so you, they tried to make that fight, you know. I mean, who, who else do you really – I mean, who else do you want to see Canelo fight, to be honest? Who else? There's nobody, there's nobody really out there. Canelo ain't gonna shoot the fade with nobody straight up. No catch weights, no rehydration clauses, no backdooring with the commission, via drug test for, for six months. If Canelo fought somebody fair and square, Canelo will have about 20 losses. He not gonna fight nobody fair and square. He not, it's always stip, it's always stipulations. It ain't a stipulation, it's stipulations. If he fought somebody fair and square, He's going to lose. And everybody want to take up, these dudes want to take up for Canelo like he didn't fail a drug test. Floyd Mayweather said in 2013 that he was he was on he was on some shit. You know? So it don't really matter to me. He could be, he could be, he could be either one of the clear people he about to fight. You know what I'm saying? It makes me no difference. It don't make me look at him as a better fighter or a worse fighter. He want to beat uh, Callum. He want to beat Billy Joe. Who cares? Neither one of them, my pound for pound, neither one of them identifies the best super middleweight in my, in my opinion. That's either David Benavidez or Caleb Plant. You know? Neither one of them. But if I, if, he, if, if it was me, Canelo, I want to beat the lineal then. You know? And also, you know, uh, he got the ring belt. He got the WBA in. And, you know, when you look at it, he the easier the two to fight. He, 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 uh, he drained, he drained. He drained. He ready to move up and you can put a little bit more, a little bit more stipulations on him. You know, he probably going to stop. He probably going to stop, uh, Callum Smith more than likely. But the, the more competitive of the fights, probably Billy Joe because Billy Joe, is 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 probably comfortable at 168. A second rehydration clause won't bother him. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, he's a more healthier fighter there. That's it. You know, but who got a better chance of beating Canelo? Probably Billy Joe, because he gonna put so he gonna he gonna stipulate 
he gonna stipulate uh, uh Callum Smith so bad that nigga gonna be weighing in five times before uh after the original weigh in. And what's so funny about it, I got the word that Canelo wanted to fight him after his bad performance versus John Ryder. That's when he he got it. Now had Callum Smith had blue John Ryder out the water, Canelo probably would wouldn't even consider fighting him. That's sad. He only added Callum Smith to his to his uh to his agenda when he looked bad versus John Ryder. Canelo ain't trying to fight nobody that's fresh. Billy Joe and Callum Smith, they, oh, he's pulling for power based off what? We all know Kovalev took a dive allegedly. We know that was a he 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 jumped off the diving board. We know he jumped off the diving board. We know he jumped off the diving board. You know, but that is what it is, man. But let me know what y'all think. Would y'all rather see Callum Smith and Canelo or Billy Joe and Canelo or you just don't really give a hell? You know, but don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Uh, y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. Good fellas, Sports TV. We're gone.